Jumping Masters doing their orientation week activities. So there are tons of people from all these different like jumpsuit groups. I gotta figure out what these colors mean and then I'm gonna talk to these people and get to know a little bit more about the university through these student interviews. Yeah. So uh, what's your name? Yeah, my name's Ali and I'm in my fourth year of mechanical and biomedical engineering and as you can see I'm a red suit. Is that what this red suit thing is all about? This yeah. like Yeah, so essentially how it works is that these first years they're coming to university for the first time and they're all nervous or anxious and they're trying to meet new people and we're just here to help them make that transition and make new friends. Awesome. Yeah, Were sure. they doing this when you first came here? Yes, and that is a big reason for why I'm doing this right now is because I saw the impact that uh, Red Suits had on me and how much I enjoyed my welcome week because of them and I really wanted to give back. Thank you, Ali. I really no, appreciate that. Thank you so that, much dude. for yeah, talking to me. No, thank, you, thank you for talking to me. And uh, yeah, go get some more people to talk to, man. Sounds good. Thank you so appreciate much. What appreciate what you do. It. No, thank you. I am Maddie. I use she, her pronouns. And I am in my third year of chemical engineering and society at McMaster. What do you like about your chemical engineering program here? Um, chemical engineering has a really great community. And there's also a really good ratio of women to men, which I think is like a really positive thing, especially in engineering, which is typically a more uh, male dominated field. My name is Anna, uh, and I use she, her pronouns, and I'm in my third year of electrical uh, engineering and society at McMaster. Whoa, all right, engineering and society? Yeah. How's society play in there? What's that about? Yeah, so that's kind of like an add-on program that you can um, incorporate to your degree. Um, Maddie and Kenzie here are also in society as well. Um, and the point of society is just to help make us more well-rounded engineers, and it kind of helps us look at how can we um, really analyze the ways that we use engineering principles to improve our world and how can we make technology more sustainable and long-lasting. Electrical engineering has been a blast. I came into university not knowing how to code, but now I do it every day and I love it, so it's a really great time. Awesome. Right from first year, you get to work on design projects with other students uh, in your program in engineering, which is really unique to McMaster. Not a lot of other schools have such hands-on experience right from first year. Working with people in the community to work on different projects, and that's been really great so far. Hey, you guys have blue pants. Yes. Awesome. You want to tell me your name first? Uh, Alyssa Henry. Cool. Um, and uh, I'm part of Blue Crew. Um, so the reason why our pants are blue is because, well, sock size blue here. That's our faculty color. So I study human behavior oh, um, with nice. an autism yeah. and behavioral science specialization. So it's a really cool program. Uh, it's a dual degree with Mohawk and McMaster. So you get college diploma and university degree in four years, and a co-op is included in that. So that's pretty cool, especially like with kids that have autism. That's like my main yeah. focus of study right now. So it's pretty cool. Okay. I became a teacher, and I could never work with young kids. So I just want you to know you're doing the Lord's work. Like we need you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> much for what you do. Thanks, Alyssa. Appreciate you taking a minute out of your day. Have a good day. All right, you too. How come you guys have uh, white suits? What's going on? What's the white for? It's for health sciences. Health sciences? OK, awesome, because I talked to the red, and then I talked to blue. I'm trying to figure out what all the colors are for. Talking here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah my name's Donnie. Uh, I'm going to my third year of the Bachelor of Health Sciences program at McMaster University. I love it, and I honestly feel so privileged to be here. Yeah. What do you like about the program? I think this, if I had to boil it down to one thing, it definitely is the people here. I mean, this is a place of full support, and it's not just your friends, but it's the faculty, it's the people all around the university. It makes you feel like you belong here. And they support you no matter what decision you take. And, you know, it's okay to make mistakes here, and when you do, there's always the best ways possible to handle it and to help you move forward. It really prepares you to work in the real world, and also how to understand yourself. Who do I want to be, and what impact I want to make, so that many years from now, because of those lessons that you learned here, you are able to feel a sense of really happiness and you know, content me with what you've done in life and what you've been able to achieve for this world and for yourself. Awesome, Daddy. Thanks so much, man. I can ask you anything? Yeah. Anything. That is a dangerous thing to hold up, actually, right now. What's going on with these pants? So, we have the green pants because green. we are both Palmer Sprats. Okay. My name is Maddie. I'm going into my fifth year of the Commerce faculty, undeclared, with a minor in sustainability. All right. Uh, my name's Thomas. I Oh, I'm getting a phone call. My name's Thomas. I'm going into my fourth year of the Business and Humanities program. Somewhat of a similar perspective, yeah. I guess you'll okay. get, but... All right, cool. What do you guys like about the business school? I think what I like most about the business school is the professors. 
I've had nothing but positive experiences every single year that I've been here. The professors are amazing. I think what really makes Mac stand out is how the professors really care about you. They want you to succeed, they want you to do well, and they want to develop that interpersonal relationship with you as well. Yeah. I mean, adding on to that, I'd say the community as a whole. Um, one of the reasons that I chose to Groot over other places was because of the size of the faculty. Um, I know that with all of the events, especially during Welcome Week, everyone has been super welcoming and through my experiences through the DeGroote Club so far, I've been able to meet a lot of people. A lot of my closest friends thus far have been met um, through clubs, through people just coming up to ask if I need any help or I want to study together, things like that. So having a sort of community environment, a small campus has really helped to kind of foster that empowering community together. Okay. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, you say it's a small campus, but there's like a ton of people here. So at the same time, <laughs> yeah. like, I think it says a lot though, right? That you feel like it's kind of a smaller vibe. It's yeah. true. Like I, I was just saying to Thomas that um, there was a student that I met on the first day of move-in and I have ran into them every single day yeah. since. And it's been crazy because it is a big campus. And every time I see them, I'm always like, oh, hey, <laughs> see you tomorrow, I guess. So no, it's great. Yeah, it's really that's pretty great. cool. I like that. Um, you got a favorite professor? Oh, I can't. Or one that you want to give a shout out that. to, just one that you happen to like. We don't I, have to call it favorite. I we'll can, edit that. I can start. <laughs> I uh, I would have to give a shout out to Dr. Muhammad. He teaches first year accounting. He's always open for questions. Anything that I've had to ask him, accounting related or not, he spent hours with me in his office talking, wow. chatting, consoling me, all the good stuff. Okay, I will give a shout out to Dr. Teal McAteer. She's a first year organiz organizational behavior um, professor. She is phenomenal. Every single day, 8 in the morning, she has so much energy. She's a professor who truly cares about the growth of their students. She's amazing. Thanks so much for your help, and yeah. thanks for what you're doing here, helping yes. people out. You know, Thank I think you. it's really awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Science is black. Hello, my name's Taryn. I'm going into fourth year integrated science in the physics concentration. Okay, wow. You're doing the hard stuff. <laughs> yeah. How, how demanding is that? Um, you know, it's a little demanding. There are quite a few courses. It's definitely manageable, but it is a heavy workload. You need to learn how to manage your time very efficiently to get through it. Where do you want to go next with that? Um, for me, I'm looking ahead to more grad school, more school in the future. Um, I really love research. So far, all the labs that I've had to experience have been amazing. And so I'm hoping to pursue something adjacent to research, astrobiology, biophysics, something Okay. in that field. I mean, having your name out there as like yeah. real published work. Yeah. I want to see my name in parentheses exactly. when I read something, you know? Exactly. Yeah, totally. So um, is that one of the reasons you chose McMaster? Yeah, McMaster's research is incredible. I mean, for me, ISI was my top choice for a program just because it's so unique, so small, so interdisciplinary. And then just all the research opportunities that you can get like right out of first year, all the different clubs, the different groups, like there was kind of no competition once I was in. Do you have any advice for maybe uh, potential applicants or people going into that program, Ooh. In the sciences in general? Worry about what doing what you love. Do things that are fun. Even though school is really busy and stressful all the time, you don't need to stay up until three in the morning every night to get things done. You need to have a good balance. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. What's with the lavender pink? I'm, this is entering a color that I'm not so sure about as a guy. Can we ask who you are? Yes, you could totally do that. That seems like a very reasonable yeah. thing to do. So, uh, so my name is Maya. Uh, I study arts and science here, and I'm in my fourth year. And I'm Phoebe, and I'm also in arts and science fourth year. All right, cool. So can you tell me a little bit more about these suits here? What am I looking at? Absolutely. So these are our <laughs> jumpsuits. They mark us out as reps for arts and science. That's our color here. And then we just paint whatever uh, our interests are, stuff we believe in, so that the first years can maybe like pick out something that they also know, and they know they can come and chat with us about it, because that's something that we like. Exactly, yeah. So I'll just give you an example. Um, I'm really into photography, so I have awesome. a camera here, and then I've got a pride flag on yep, the back of, of my course. suit. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. Anything you want to show off? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, these are from some video games that I'm yeah. a big fan of. That looks like Zelda to me. Is that? Yeah, yep, yep. Zelda okay, character. I see Zelda references. Yeah. I know what you're doing here. Yeah. So yeah. There you go. I know my Triforce. Yeah. My sister has that tattooed on her arm. Oh my God. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. What do you like about your programs? Basically, we study half, you know, sciences, maths, and then half social sciences, history, philosophy, stuff like that. And it's just amazing because it's interdisciplinary. It's also small. small. It's a program and a degree that offers you a lot of uh, freedom in your course choices. Yeah. Sounds awesome. I love it. Um, do you, would you have any advice for maybe some new students since I know that's kind of the theme of the week here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. 
you know, immerse yourself in the university experience and try to get everything out of it that you can. Once the school year starts more, uh, go to your prof's office hours. Like, get your money's worth, essentially, of your tuition. Go talk to them. They are more than happy to talk to you for a long time, as long as they have that time. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I really yeah, appreciate no it. It means a lot to me. In all of these interviews, everybody keeps talking about community, community, community. And I see why because people here really genuinely seem to care about each other and you don't see that same level of like tight integration at every campus. So I really like that about McMaster. I think that you're gonna feel welcome here. You're gonna have a great time at this university. So you should definitely check it out. So if you're interested in McMaster, you can hit us up with prepwithscore.com to learn more about how we can help you apply. You can go to their website, mcmaster.ca, or you know you can reach out to students here because they're all super eager to help you out. So thank you guys, all you people who helped me out with the interviews. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.